what's up my single chest today we're gonna be catching some sweet sweet cries of the call of duty community the taxing gamers what's up my taxing gamers shout out to the stud welcome, muffins welcome, out there welcome. that did not buy modern warfare 3 for your reward here's a picture of the call of duty community that ended up buying modern warfare 3 and uh, that went into a coma guys it'd be like that but today we got the homie nero shenema nero shenema like the video subscribe the Let's game is officially out now it's available worldwide people are Damn. getting their hands on the game lots of mixed reviews are coming in which we will be covering in many yeah, videos going forward but for this video today i want to talk about infinity ward because even though modern warfare 2 is now in the rear view mirror infinity ward still finds Bro, they forgot about modern warfare 2022 that sucker ended up getting a brand new map after five months five that's what they had they had this uh hey, 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 friendly they did not even bother making any new maps. They were just making those friendly UAVs online. After friendly UAVs online, they didn't even bother with the maps, bruh. And now they're saying that, well, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is out. We're gonna be focusing on Modern Warfare 3. They forgot about Modern Warfare 2022, bruh. It's a way to get claws in virtually everything that's happening with Modern Warfare 3 and the Call of Duty scene as a whole. So yeah. a very interesting article was put out yesterday by Bloomberg. Now, unfortunately, yes, yes, Bloomberg, sir. you have to pay to actually get access yeah, to read sadly. everything on the website itself. But the information from that article was covered by many other news sites out there, like Game Informer, Charlie Intel, Modern Warzone, two great guys right there. You know, a whole bunch of people have been covering all of this, and we got some snippets of what was in the article you, itself. Homie. And it just goes to show that Modern Warfare 3 was a game that really shouldn't have existed given the circumstances yeah what what and seconds were saying that it's a it's a full game we are proud of modern warfare 3 you know people are gamers love it when we release it the way we do right gamers don't like paying just twenty dollars or thirty dollars for our games gamers love paying seventy dollars i mean get the way for get mama bro get mama bro and Infinity Ward themselves had a lot more to do with the game than what we might have originally yeah, thought, Infinity considering Dog, all- Dog, Infinity War shouldn't be led. They shouldn't make an, the next Call of Duty game. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree, though. Well, the changes that have happened going from Modern Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3. So, let's just go ahead and jump into this. I'm not going to read the entire Infin thing out to you guys. But Infinity Ward can suck my c I do want to show some snippets here because it's very interesting. After Call of Duty Vanguard, developers at Sledgehammer had originally pitched a project codenamed Anvil that would be set in the universe of the company's futuristic 2014 game Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, according to people that are familiar with the story. But Man, it would have been insane had it been they made Advanced Warfare 2. Would you rather like Modern Warfare 3 the way it came out or Advanced Warfare 2, knowing fully well that Sledgehammer Games initially was looking to make Advanced Warfare 2 right after Call of Duty Vanguard? garbage i would have went with advanced warfare 2 because let's be real right it feels like that they had assets ready they had their vision ready i mean the ideas are the main thing right once you got a good idea then you and you have planned it how you're gonna be like playing the game out i mean shit bro after that you just gotta make the maps you just gotta make the campaign obviously it requires hard work not denying that but the idea and the vision is the main thing man but then activision turns around infinity tard is looking at them they're they're standing there with thumbs up their asses but yo, I gotta say this in Urdu. I cannot say this in English. But before it could get very far, Project Anvil was shelved as the company was informed they were going to be working on another Modern Warfare game. Now right there, there at the time, Sledgehammer oh really God. didn't know exactly what they were going to be working yeah. on. It was intentionally left hazy and ambiguous, hazy. but they had to put- Hazy! Hazy! Man, this is absolutely moronic behavior, bro. This is, this is such a low blow to the homies over at Sledgehammer Games, bruh. Like, as a brown man, I demand Sledgehammer Games to be free. I demand Sledgehammers to... They, they should let Sledgehammer Games to make Advanced Warfare 2. They should be able to make whatever they want to, okay? Uh, not whatever they want to, my bad, guys. Because uh, if we let them make whatever they want to, they're probably going to have, like, those... Uh, friendly UAI, okay? So, uh, they're still not as good as uh, how we perceive them to be, ladies and gentlemen. You feel me? Like, but, but nah, bruh, like, as a brown man, bro, I demand Call of Duty to be free, because uh, they're acting like it's a free-to-play game, but still charging people that money. 
but bruh, as a brown man, I demand Call of Duty to go back into the glory days, bruh. Push out another like game warning. because right here another it says one. the process was hurried because this year's game was conceived to fill a gap in the release schedule following the delay of another Call of Duty title previously planned for 2023. Mm. So could that have been Treyarch's game? Maybe Treyarch's game was supposed to be coming out this year, but they decided to delay that, and instead they had to give us kind of realistically it should have been right because uh, it came out. I mean, here's the thing, right? We shouldn't even had Black Ops Cold War in 2020, right? Because it was Sledgehammer Games Project. They shies the bed, and then Activision was like, "Okay, Drake, we gotta, we gotta let Drake make the game. We gotta let Drake make the game." They ended up making it in 2020, which was still better than whatever garbage Infinity Tart produced and Sledgehammer, my boss, produced back with Van Garbage. But I gotta say, bro, like it's gonna sound sad, but bruh, like facts are facts, right? At least Sledgehammer Games, they listen to their community, they, they listen to their fans. With Van Garbage, I didn't like that game, some of you liked it, some of you did not. But if you liked it or did not like it, I guess we can collectively agree that they listen to their, their, their fans. And this time it feels the same way, they're listening to the fans, but Activision is digging them down. Infinity Tart, they don't even know what they're doing right now, they're standing there with thumbs up their asses. They, they just don't even, they're doing helicopters with their bullies, stealing Batty's milk, right? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is what happens when they go with diversity hires. We love diversity. They damn. This is what happens when you start to prioritize talentless diversity hire versus people that are talented and people that are gamers, people that are actually enthusiastic and you know what? What's the word? What's the word? Passionate. Yeah, suckers that are passionate yeah. about the game. They want. They don't want anything to do with passionate people, and we clearly see the the, the soulless game and the the, the non-passionate games. There is zero passion in these games, bruh. A filler game, more of an in-between game, which turned out here to be Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. An Activision spokesperson denied that Modern Warfare 3 was originally an expansion. It was always conceived to be a premium game right from the very beginning. But more than a dozen current and former COD developers say they were told at the time it was going to be an expansion. Modern Warfare 3 was just going to be an expansion to Modern Warfare 2, yeah. but they had to get the game out really quickly. <laughs> and as a result, Modern Warfare 3 itself was made in just a year and they Holy. have that explains oh my god bro a year and a half you think it's crazy you think it's crazy but here's the thing right like guys back in the days though right like when black ops 1 came out black ops 2 came out crazy to think and it's crazy to say this that black ops 2 was made in less than two years dead ass though but i get it those were simple times uh, we, we had the Sony Pony 3, PS3, Xbox 360, we didn't need to have like crazy pixels, it was just 1080p HD. I mean, even on the PS3 360, the games wasn't even 1080p HD, let's say, right? Yeah. Like, they would reduce the resolution, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But on the PC, it was like 1080p, but, but Brad, Black Ops 2 still to this day, it looks amazing on the PC though. I got to say, graphically speaking, it has a clean look, gameplay is fire, gameplay is fun. Uh, and the weapons is very good, the level system, the, the pick 10 system, it got even the prestige mode! It got the prestige mode as well! Man, Black Ops 2 was hands down one of the best games, and guess what, it was made in less than two years. Oh, shit. Crazy to say, even Modern Warfare 3, the original one, was made in less than uh, two years. And I know like Suckers would complain about Modern Warfare 3 when it first came out as well. And I get it, right? Because it was very similar to the original 2009 Modern Warfare 2. But here's a, here's the plot twist, guys. That Modern Warfare 3 that came out back in 2011 had new maps! It had new maps! Yeah, right? Like, crazy! Crazy! This time, these suckers, they don't even know what they're doing and they're having maps from Modern Warfare 2009. I mean, those are good maps, not denying that, but they should have marketed this game as an expansion, a patch, a DLC, whatever. Not a full game. Sell it for like 20 bucks. I, I, I said 30 bucks before, but after seeing the gameplay of the campaign uh, and zombies, $20, guys. Okay, 25 Let's make a temporary truce. Like the video if you agree. The whole lot, doesn't it? The very rushed campaign. If you guys played through the campaign, I mean, certain parts of it were good. Not going to spoil anything, but it was a very short campaign, and yeah. not a lot really happened, and the ending felt very tacked on. It just wasn't very good whatsoever, at least in my opinion. Of course, that's all subjective. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to multiplayer, instead of having a bunch of... In mostly everybody's opinion, except for the shills, obviously. For original maps, of course, we have all the remakes of the OG Modern Warfare 2 maps. We have a bunch of older weapons also returning 
within the game's multiplayer. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. looking at zombies, I've played some zombies, which I will be doing a video on that, but zombies itself Ow. is just like DMZ meets Outbreak. Very it also feels one. kind of rushed. That's because Modern Warfare 3 was thrown together in a year and a half as compared to having that full three-year development cycle that most other Call of Duty games get. Sledgehammer yeah. has been... And, and even after three years, like, it's not a guarantee that the game is going to be good. I mean, there this thing is going to be taking like two and a half years developing those uh, friendly UAVs online and the the the, the, I, I, the, the microtransactions, bro. <laughs> it is crazy how much they prioritize the bundles. Man, like prioritize your game, bruh. And then have bundles, bro. Because if you have more players, then you can squeeze more of those players' wallets, bruh. Y'all suckers can make the game free to play. I, I know there are a lot of uh, cheaters out there. And if we have the game free to play, then we can have more cheaters. But damn, bro, like y'all, why not have more cheaters? Why not have more cheaters? I mean, at least those cheaters gonna buy. <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. If they're gonna have more cheaters, they're also gonna have more regular and normal non-cheating folks as well. The ratio is probably gonna equal e equalize. Uh, I, I would like to assume that there's gonna be more normal people playing the game instead of like cheaters uh, if they make it free to play because th this game should have been free to play. This DLC shouldn't even be $25. Like, I take it back. It should have been free. They're acting like a free to play game. So like the video if you deserve to get this for free. I mean, nobody even deserved to play this crap for free. I mean, I, I gotta take that back as well. But, but you feel what I'm saying, right? It should be free. Like, crap. if you paid for Modern Warfare 2022, it should have been free. If you did not buy Modern Modern Warfare 2022, then it should have been $25. Like Big River. Really getting screwed over the course of the past couple that? of years, going to this right here. Some staff at Sledgehammer had to work nights and weekends to finish the game, and they said that they felt betrayed by the company because they were Damn. promised they weren't going to have to go through another shortened timeline yeah. after the release of their previous <laughs> game. Call to <laughs> Bobby Kotick would be like, hold my beer, son. This is my this is my company, bruh. Y'all seconds gonna be Working to the bone, y'all go, y'all suckers will be per working till the day you die, and that's gonna be on Call of Duty. Imagine, imagine, bro, like that is sad, bro. I got nothing but love for the folks that are working uh, because those are everyday people, those are people just like you and I, right? Like, for example, if I always like to give this example, and it's true, guys. If you or you know somebody or you see somebody, it doesn't mean that you are or you have a friend or you have somebody in your family working at McDonald's. You see other people working at McDonald's and obviously they're trying to do their job, they're trying to feed their family, they're just there, they're spending hours just doing what they're being told, uh, rightfully so, right? Just making sure they do their best or the least, or however, whatever you want to identify them as or say, I guess. But, but but you feel what I'm saying, right? They're just there, they're following their orders, they're there for a couple of hours, uh, getting getting uh, getting their work done, getting paid, and that, that's about it, right? But then there are passionate, passionate uh, McDonald's workers and employees who like to put extra ketchup, extra mayonnaise, extra... Uh, no, they wouldn't give you extra, like, burger, uh, Bruh. let's be real, but because you gotta pay extra, you feel what I'm saying? But they would put extra ketchup! They would make sure it is extra spicy for your dumbass and for my dumbass if I go there, right? I don't, but you know what I'm saying, bruh. Like, we all know those passionate employees and those burgers maker, bruh. This is what I'm talking about. There are devs and then there are passionate devs that make sure they crunch, that make sure they have like one extra map. And then there are other devs that are like, bruh, we gotta have an extra friendly. <laughs> It is sad, guys. It is sad. The Vanguard, which was made under a similarly constrained development cycle. For the first few months of the project, which was codenamed Jupiter, the story was <laughs> conceived to be a smaller scale modern. The only Jupiter by Modern Warfare 3 is its game size, which is 234 gigs. Modern Warfare spinoff set in Mexico that would be much more achievable on a small timeline. Yeah. But in the summer of last year, Activision executives decided to reboot that entire story and then basically take what was going to be an expansion and make it a full fledged seventy dollar premium title. Yeah. Now, where things really get spicy here, not only did they have to again make a Call of Duty title in a year and a half, but they also had to answer to Infinity Ward the entire time. Here we see developers also said that Imagine having to answer to Activision and then also having to answer to Infinity Tart that are one of the most incompetent dev on planet Earth. So one of the most incompetent. I've never seen that incompetence. Okay, Saints Row devs, yeah, okay, minus okay, minus Saints Row devs. 
but, but after that, it's like they are at number two though. Lamba two. Lamba two. Ek kutte de bache ya pain. Jo saalon ko game ek ya kutte de bache ya ek to niya mai dal do ya. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, come on, bro. They were frustrated at having to run their content by executives from that Infinity Board, the Activision studio that's normally responsible for the Modern Warfare series. Staff on the game said they dealt with inefficiencies, waiting on feedback, and making significant and sometimes unwanted changes yeah. based on directives from above. So it's interesting. Right. Going into Modern oh, Warfare wow. 3, the entire selling point was really we fixed everything that <laughs> Infinity Ward broke, yeah. but most of those decisions had to go through Infinity Ward themselves. I have Crazy. to wonder what. What things were approved versus what things were not approved? I mean, we all know the only thing that was about, that was approved. I, I'm pretty sure they must have made that temporary truce. They were probably like, okay, uh, so you want the normal mini map bag? If you want the normal mini map bag, y'all need to approve that friendly UAV online, though. If you if you if you don't approve that friendly UAV online, we're not gonna let you hit the normal mini map. I, I I'm pretty sure they even tried to have that normal procedure. Do we have prestige mode? I'm, I'm not sure about that one though. I think we do, or maybe not. I have not purchased the game. I, I don't care for it, guys. Uh, I I mean I do care for Call of Duty, but not necessarily for this game. I'm waiting till next year, guys, or waiting two three months before if, if the game gets better, I'll get the game. But looks like it won't, guys. Uh, maybe such a games. There is some hope though. I, I gotta be real. Infinity Tart. There's zero hope. They shouldn't even make another. They shouldn't even make the next game at all. You know what I mean? Here we see Charlie Intel right here. Bloomberg has stated, and Charlie Intel is going to corroborate this, that several sources are telling them that one of the changes that Infinity Ward made to Sledgehammer's Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer was removing a pick 10 loadout system. The new system that we have now currently in Modern Warfare 3 is a morphed version of that pick 10 system that Sledgehammer initially wanted to put in the Modern Warfare 3, but basically Infinity Ward said no because for some yeah. reason, Infinity Ever. Ward just gets to run the entire project like, oh, it, it's Infinity Ward. You know, they make the Modern Warfare franchise. Of course, they get to have a say in what goes right. into the Modern Warfare franchise. But, dude, I'm looking at it from this perspective. In, in Urdu, I would like to say, Salam, mehnat kare murga anda kare fakir. Bruh, like, this like, is crazy, bro. Like, man, it's their studio. It's their turn, man. Let them make their own game. Y'all suckers, if you wanna help, y'all can help, but y'all suckers are like, nah, bruh, like, you gotta, mm, 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 y'all gotta do the way we like things. Pretty sure there were some strong, independent, blue hair female employees at Infinity Tard, though. That's that. The Infinity Ward that we have now is not even the original Infinity Ward. These aren't the people that made yeah. the original Modern Warfare trilogy. The original one pieced out. Gee, they're not the people that made Captain Price, the people that made Ghost and Soap and all that. Like, they're not the ones responsible for the universe. They're basically just piggybacking off the work of the original Infinity Ward team, who are now part yeah, of Respawn yeah. Entertainment, as I'm sure most of you guys know. Yeah, so, like, why on. are they, like, being so, like, butthurt about their entire, like, <laughs> oh, this is our franchise. We yeah. have a say in what you can do with your multiplayer game because you're using our name, despite the fact that it's not their name because they're not the people that made that the made original it. trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so Infinity Ward is responsible for us not having a pick 10 system. And now we have this new system here in Modern Warfare 3, which in some ways is interesting. The whole gloves and the boots and the gear and then the combat vest, which get very convoluted. But at the same time, like this system, while it does offer us much more freedom than what we had in Modern Warfare 2, the most recent one, like way more customization, way more freedom here in Modern Warfare 3, nothing really beats a pick 10. Yeah, pick 10, yeah, you know, yeah. really picking. Man, Trek was the one that made it. Trivia question: Tri Stand up for meeting immediately. Emergency meeting. What year? Or you can just say the year or the game. Trivia question: It was Treyarch, so hand hand. It was Treyarch that made the pick 10 system for the first time. In what game, though? If you correct it, if you if you guess it, or if you know and you answer it correctly, then you might be able to win this retard helmet for free from the homie. Blame for though, you know what I'm saying? He has been promoting those retard helmet guys and, and you might be able to get it for free. Okay, that's gonna be your reward, bruh. The bruh. perks that you want, really picking the attachments you want. Like, and mind you, we're gonna have like gunsmith in this game. So every gun can have up to five attachments on it. And that obviously would just make things kind of crazy when it comes to pick 10 in terms of customization and all the different things they could do with that. But Infinity Ward said no. Yeah, and I'm wondering no. what other things no. did Infinity Ward say no to that could have possibly been- Pretty, pretty much uh, to everything except 
except for the friendly UAV online mode. in Modern Warfare 3. It really just goes to show and people like industry insiders and people in the know and people on social media that like really have like relationships with these developers or they know a lot of people yeah, behind the scenes. They firmly believe that Modern Warfare 3 was a game that never should have existed given never. the short window that they had to actually put everything together. They had to have all hands on deck. Yeah, this is why we had rumors earlier in the year where we were hearing that Activision is going to keep on that Call of Duty. And I was like, bruh, bro, like, we talking about Activision. That's Texas and a new Call of Duty game <laughs> every year is promised. But then quickly after we heard that it's going to be a DLC, brothers. It's going to be a DLC. And then later on, they were like, OK, bruh, we, we're going to have so much content, right? Like, wow, so much content for $70. Uh, so we're, we're, we're going to be like, OK, we, we, we are not going to make a DLC. We're just going to make a full game. And that's where we ended up getting this Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Brad Warfare 3, let's just say. But guys, recently we had a ton of drama. <laughs> Click on this video on the screen. Brothers ain't stopping, man. Click on it and I will see you right there. Activision, they will not like it if you watch this one.